Welcome to Dr. Potama's channel. Corona, Corona, Corona. Everywhere people are talking about it. As a Christian, let's understand what, is, what should be our attitude to it and what should be our action. Of course, this is not the first time the world has faced a pandemic like this. 36 million people died from HIV AIDS, which was first identified in 1976. In 1918, 500 million people were infected with the Spanish flu. Before that, you have to go back to 1346 when 200 million people died from uh, bubonic uh, flu. But this is the first time in our lifetime that we have seen a global pandemic with such far-reaching consequences. So, what should be our attitude and what should be our action in this context. Uh, let's understand and try to see what we can do in this context. Uh, I read the text Leviticus 13 verse to 6. It says, the priest is to isolate the affected person for seven days. On the seventh day, the priest is to examine them and if he sees that the sore is unchanged and has not spread in the skin, he is to isolate them for another seven days. Today, our leaders are advising us to have home quarantine. But two people are not listening in India. They are on the streets and there is a danger in it. We need to isolate ourselves and we need to, we should strictly follow house home quarantine so that we will not spread this uh, disease and we will not get it. What should be our attitude in this context? Uh, this is not Revelation 13. Today, as I see a lot of messages in Facebook and WhatsApp and what, what not, Christian leaders have not really understood. Christian pastors have not understood. And we have a judgmental attitude saying that uh, this is the judgment of God on people and unbelievers. No, not at all. Coronavirus is not the end of the world. It's got nothing to do with an antichrist or the mark of the beast. I know some Christians will be very disappointed by this, but let me tell you, I have met people who relish their disasters because they somehow in their mind fulfill end time Bible prophecy. And this is not a new phenomenon. Every time when natural calamities come, we try to ascribe those natural calamities as judgment of God. We should not have such attitude. Jesus will not have such attitude. And we should understand this as a natural calamity and we have a responsibility to play. It probably has more to do with the Leviticus 13 according to the Encyclopedia uh, Judaica. Medicine and religion were closely connected for Jews in ancient times. Priests were the custodians of public health. Let me tell you my friends, pastors uh, should be the custodians of the public health. We have a responsibility to play. The Jews in biblical times regarded the physician as the instrument through whom God could affect, affect the cure. This is the picture we see in Leviticus, which although it may sound somewhat elementary to our ears, was very progressive for its time around 500 years before Jesus. According to Leviticus 13.21, the priest was to inspect someone who had a disease and could isolate the affected person for seven days. He could re then re-examine them and could isolate them for another seven days, 14 days. Today the government is asking us to have 14 days quarantine, but nobody is listening. At least Christians should listen. We should stick to our home. Don't go for this kind of huge gatherings. Even if we don't meet as a church for some few weeks, nothing is going to happen. And we should meet at homes. 14 days sound familiar. The, the diseased person must live alone. They must live outside the camp. We should live outside the camp. And we should strictly follow the biblical pattern of isola isolating ourselves. What should be our action in this situation? Our attitude should be the same that Christ Jesus had. And we should understand the world. We should have a sympathetic attitude. And we should not have a judgmental attitude. Uh, what should be our action? Act 
according to first Corinthians 13 donating money and putting others first and you know, in this situation we should not gather everything but rather we should share our resources to those who are needy those who are helpless now we are emptying market mark uh, supermarket shelves and uh, fighting over toilet papers even i have seen the other day in the news people are fighting over toilet papers in the west and uh, we are in india we use uh, water and praise god for that and uh, we are, we maintain cleanliness in some form but in many sense we are not so clean the other day i was traveling i see this man from the truck spitting almost a half liter saliva on the street i know if you spit such a huge saliva from the mouth after chewing this uh, a pan parag and gutka and millions of viruses you are spitting on the road and such we the, we have a nasty society in India especially people don't have a consciousness spitting is a part of life everywhere you know such a nasty thing spitting outside even when we cough we need to cover our nose even now even the government imposed so many rules people not not wearing this mask when they go out simply people coming on the street just to see what's there and we need to follow the government rules we have seen the very best and very worst of humanity what we what we need is more of first corinthians 13 4 to 7 love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it does not dishonor other religious people and today the Christian community should not dishonor others. We should not take this natural calamity as an advantage to pronounce judgment on other religions or other people, but rather we should run to rescue the people who are suffering. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily anger. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil. When people are suffering with the disease, when people are struggling we should not delight in ourselves, but rather we should pray to God and we should understand how best we can understand others and understand other religious communities and we should give our help and we should continue to love others. Our action should be based on love, not on judgment. Love never rejoices when people suffer out outside. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves, love never fails. Even when we, we need to face this calamity with love. My friends, run to rescue the people and let's love others and let's continue to extend our love to people. And coronavirus is not about Revelation 13. It's more like Leviticus 13. So let's act according to 1st Corinthians 13 until Roman 13 runs its course. We started with Leviticus 13 and we went into 1st Corinthians 13 and third we need to run. Romans 13 says, let everyone be subjected to the governing authorities for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. Today, in India and across the world, the authorities are time and again, time and again, instructing us to have home quarantine. Authorities are pleading us to be at home. Stay home. Stay home and be safe. But today people are not listening. They are just coming to the roads. They are taking their vehicles and r running on the, on the streets. And today, my friends, at least the Christian community across the country in this India, stay home. Don't rush to public meetings. Don't rush to Sunday worship service. Let's cancel all those services. Let's cancel all our public meetings. And even the home meetings, you be alone at your home house home quarantine and today some churches are fascinated 
they started home churches. No, we should cancel all because government strictly imposed home quarantine. Let's obey the law of the land. Let everyone be subject to governing authorities. And today it's biblical and Bible strictly warns us to obey the rules of the land. And let's obey our authorities. The Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, even today, this evening, he is going to address. He has been pleading us not to come to streets and let's Christian community let's obey the rules of our land as we are obeying to God. May God bless all of us. Stay home and be blessed. Stay home and uh, have good health. Stay home. Be safe and let others also be safe. May God bless you all. Thank you my friends.